Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us today. Sorry, we got a little start. Uh, we're going to talk about what do probiotics eat, how to maximize gut health with a more probiotic friendly diet and prebiotic foods. So this is uh, a really important topic. There's a lot of misinformation out there about probiotics. There's a lot of good information out of probiotics, but it's hard to tell what's what and what is the best diet to support your microbiome. And as well, what is prebiotic foods? What things can you add to your diet that's going to give you better results? and also save you money down the road. I wanna thank you for joining. Uh, I've been one of the co-founders of Bioptimizers uh, and been doing this job for a long time. I started out in personal training. I really love what I do. I love helping people. I love making a difference in people's lives. And it's why I'm here and it's why I love providing this information. And I hope that you walk away with this with some very powerful things that you and your family can take action on that will let you to be uh, a healthier version of yourself for many, many years to come and to avoid some of the things that I do believe is avoidable. First, a little housekeeping, turn off all distractions, cell phones, Skype, Facebook, etc. cetera. It, it's good to be focused. It's good to know what's happening. Uh, I would encourage you to unmute your computer audio speakers and headphones. I think I just had that problem. I actually muted myself, unfortunately. Uh, so you want to be able to listen and uh, share this information properly. Type your questions into the question panel. A health and happiness concierge will help you answer your questions. And if you need additional help, we might not get to all those questions at the end. If you do, please contact our health and happiness concierge at support at bioptimizers.com. And I personally go through those questions myself and I've trained my staff to answer. So you will get answers directly from me via that route as well. And stay tuned to the very end for a special offer, a bonus. Yep including a live Q&A and a gift. But the gift is only for those who stay to the very end. That's the, that's the hook, as they say, but it's worthwhile. So please stay to the very end. It'll be worth your uh, the time. In this webinar training, you're going to discover why what you eat plays a huge role in the good or bad bacteria you have in your gut. You're also going to learn the best foods for feeding the good probiotics you already have in your body, Many of these foods are gonna surprise you. And if you do take probiotics, here's how to combine them with the right foods. This is gonna allow you to maximize the gut health benefits and transformation. And then you're gonna learn the three biggest, most negative effects from feeding your gut the wrong foods. These effects set the stage for chronic disease. We know that 12% uh, of the gastro, 12% of the emergency hospital visits are related to gastrointestinal problems. 95 million Americans suffer from digestive related illnesses every single day. It's a huge area. And it's something that we address as a company and is one of my big missions in life. Who am I? I'm the founder of Bioptimizers. Our mission is to alleviate human suffering by optimizing digestion and activating awesome health. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. I'm an advisor to the American Anti-Cancer Institute, coach 15,000 clients worldwide. I've been an author, traveled all the stuff, certified sports, sports nutrition advisor. And I used to be a bodybuilding champion way back in the day before I got into the health side. I, I, I learned about performance and then I compromised my health and learned about that. I had a lot of success there, but I don't get as much joy or never had got as much joy from the con contest as I do from doing what I'm going to do tonight. So my goal is for the next 60 minutes to help you understand the impact of the foods you eat on your gut flora. That's the, the total collection of uh, the, the good guys, the bad guys, the opportunists inside your intestines. We'll get into that in a minute. And how to maximize your probiotic health with smarter choices. Because here's the thing, the probiotics you make uh, through what you eat and break down are every bit as important as the probiotics you take, okay? Now, before we begin, I have a question for you. If I promise you to give you great content, do I have your permission to take, uh, you know, like 10 minutes to give you a super valuable offer for you to consider at the end? If that sounds fair, type yes. While I'm waiting for that, I'll just take a little drink of water. I hope you got one too. Great, I'm getting some yeses, so that's great. We can move on. Thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, open, so that's great. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so of course, make sure you stay to the end because you're gonna get a gift just for joining us. We're gonna give you something free, something valuable, something can make a difference for you or somebody you love. Uh, it is very powerful and highly valuable. I'd like to begin with my own story of how my diet impacted that. So this is a picture of me uh, just before the 2003 Mr. Universe contest. I was competing as a natural bodybuilding champion and I had the best coach in the world uh, in that sp particular sport. I had Spartan-like discipline. I was training four and a half hours a day. Uh, I had been dieting literally for uh, almost 10 months straight. Um, 
you know, the pictures were great. I had a wonderful experience. It was wonderful representing my country. I was very uh, happy with the results and how things worked out. But I can tell you what happened. After that contest, I had realized, I didn't know this at the time, I had completely damaged my microbiome. I mean, this was the result of the years of performance-based dieting that I had had. After the Mr. Universe contest, I went to what I went from Mr. Universe to Mr. Marshmallow. I literally gained 42 pounds of fat in water in 11 weeks. Do not try this at home. It was devastating. Now, the good news was I met a natural MD who taught me the importance of gut health. Basically, he said to me this, Wade, you've learned to build the body from the outside in. You haven't learned to build the body from the inside out. And by the way, this is something that happens to athletes all the time after their careers, or particularly those who are required to follow extreme diets in order to maintain their condition like myself. And what's interesting about that, how that relates to a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there who do a lot of diets. And oftentimes uh, they compromise their digestive system or they don't do any diet and they just eat whatever and that compromises their system. So if you don't understand this, um, you're gonna, you will at the end of this webinar. Uh, the bottom line is just in a few months with this MD, uh, his guidance, his expertise and the special probiotics I learned from him and started using I was able to correct my health. I was able to get to a better stage of health. In fact, I never felt better. I, I never, I, not only did I sh lose the weight and shed all that sort of stuff, but I had awesome digestion. I had great energy. I had overall health. And those are the things that had actually escaped me. Most people think, well, you look great, but I certainly didn't feel great when I was competing. And uh, the bottom line, I was able to turn that whole thing around and I feel great and, and have ever since. And I'm really grateful for that. More importantly, during this time, this is 15 years ago, I want to share with you. Nobody was talking about this stuff. I learned a lot about probiotics, what they eat, how my stupid diet was literally starving the good guys. And it, I call it a stupid diet. It, was, it made sense at the time. But when you look back, sometimes hindsight's 2020. You know that old saying? Well, bottom line is, let's talk about you. Let's talk about the role of bacteria in your gut. Because who cares about weight? Uh, it's, that's not important. What's important is what I've learned from my experience and what I can share with you. So the key role of bacteria is to break down the food you eat into beneficial bacteria. And that helps repopulate your gut and carry out its countless functions. Everything, it breaks down your food, it digests your foods, it makes your neurotransmitters, it helps with elimination, it fights the immune system. These things are amazing. Now, fiber is a key component of what you feed these guys, the good guys. But research shows that other components of your diet, including fats, carbs, proteins, they also influence the composition of your gut flora. When your diet lacks fiber, and a bit later in this presentation, I'm gonna talk about one of the most famous examples of junk food and the shocking effect in the gut microbiome. You might've heard of it, it's called Supersize Me. If you haven't watched that video or read the book or whatever, go watch it, go see it, it's incredible. And I'm gonna actually break down what happened how, like, it, he doesn't really talk about the mechanism of how that happened because I don't think they even knew what happened, but we're going to reveal that inside this webinar. So let's talk about prebiotics. Now, prebiotics is literally the food that feeds the bacteria, the food that feeds the good guys, the probiotics. So, and it's a type of fiber. It, it, I know some of these terms are really, really long, but we're going to keep this in. It's called oligosaccharides. And that's, the, these oligosaccharides are things that the human body cannot digest. Now, these things serve as food for probiotics and support helpful bacteria and other organisms in the gut, okay? So how are prebiotics different than probiotics? Well, prebiotics occur naturally in many fiber-rich foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Whereas, as you know, probiotics occur in many fermented foods, like in yogurt and sauerkraut and kefir. We talk a lot about that in a lot of our webinars and promotions to say these are things that have been used traditionally by cultures all over the world to ferment their food to get these good guys. Now, what are the benefits from prebiotics? Prebiotics support a healthy gut by feeding your native probiotic strains and helping them spread and populate. In other words, if you feed these guys, they can do their jobs. If you starve those guys, they can't. Now, how do prebiotics affect gut flora? Well, research suggests that prebiotics benefit the body by improving calcium absorption. Big issue. A lot of people worried about bone degeneration stuff because they're not absorbing their calcium. Uh, that's one of the issues. There's a variety of them. Uh, it also... Uh, it changes how quickly the, bar, the body can process carbohydrates. In other words, gut bacteria is a big factor in that. And so if people have trouble with carbs, it's, pro it's probably not the carbs is the issue, it's the gut flora is the issue. And then the other thing is supporting the probiotic growth of gut bacteria, potentially enhancing digestion and metabolism. So how do you get more prebiotics in your diet? That's the big question, right? 
So prebiotics are in many high foods, including specific fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, ideally gluten-free. As you'll learn in a moment, not all prebiotic foods are created equally. I hope you like that little picture of the intestinal tract. It's pretty cool, right? Okay. <laughs> Just a little fun thing. There are seven benefits to feeding your gut bacteria with high fiber prebiotic foods. This is literally the food that the good guys eat. So you can start adding these to your diet and you're going to get a better gut. Okay. Here are seven big benefits of eating prebiotic foods. Okay. Better gut health and improved digestion. I mean, who doesn't want that? Enhanced immune function. You see, when you have more of these, you know, kind of happy good guys running in your body, you get sick less. You have less uh, inflammatory responses. You don't catch all the colds and stuff because your immune system is rock and roll. Lower inflammation. Inflammation, by the way, is the silent killer. It is the, uh, it's something that's happening to all of us. The more of it that happens, the faster we age, the faster we generate, the sooner that we get illnesses and disease. Uh, having good prebiotic foods, it also reduces the risk of heart disease. And it aids in weight loss. Holy crap, that's important, literally. Um, I think this is one of my big secrets in being able to achieve high levels of conditioning, uh, especially later on as I age when I understood the role of that as I was able to stay, stay lean without being hungry all the time. Before I was hungry all the time. And then uh, once I added the right prebiotics, I wasn't hungry all the time. And really what comes out of the hunger wasn't me. The hunger was the actual bacteria. They were the ones starving and telling my brain they needed to eat. Next thing, uh, protects bone health. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Like these little bacteria can actually improve or protect your uh, calcium degeneration in the bones. And, 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 and believe this, regulates hormone levels in mood. Look at these seven things. Could you believe that these little tiny microorganisms actually help you function all of these things? And that if you give your body, you just add some of these prebiotics uh, into your diet, you're going to have better results in, in some or all of these areas. That's pretty cool. All right, better gut health and improved digestion. As your gut bacteria metabolize, okay, that's a fancy word, right? That's basically breaking down the foods and utilizing. Otherwise, non-digestible fibers from foods, they produce what's called short chain fatty acids. One of these beneficial fatty acids is called butric acid, which improves the health of the intestinal lining. This is a little sciencey, I know, but I wanted to share that for those of our kind of like science dorks like me who want to know this information. Short chain fatty acids also help regulator, uh, excuse me, regulate electrolyte levels in the body to promote proper digestion, support regularity, and relieve digestive issues like diarrhea and constipation. There's so many people that are suffering from things like constipation. They don't want to talk about it. It's a big issue. And in fact, we did a whole series on constipation uh, in our webinars. And boy, it was really well received because there's a lot of people just don't want to talk about it, right? And it's a big deal. And actually, diarrhea is oftentimes correlated with constipation. It has to do with the narrowing of the canal because of the buildup of plaque and all that. We won't get into that here, but bottom line, it's, it's really important. Um, here's something information from the science side. 200, a 2012 report in the Journal of Nutrition stated that along with probiotics, prebiotics can help treat many digestive problems, including Diarrhea. This is especially true after taking antibiotics. Certain intestinal infections and chronic diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I, I've dealt with a lot of people with those things. That's painful. It's good to avoid those things. Symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. We've got a lot of people that we've helped with that condition. Uh, it's another painful thing. An inflammatory bowel disease and leaky gut. By the way, um, if you talk to a naturopathic doctor or physician or that sort of stuff that is specializing in this, they're going to recommend all these different things. And that's the beauty of this is that you don't have to go pay for that right now. You can find out this information right here. Enhanced immune function. Prebiotics and probiotics also help immunity by improving nutrient absorption. The more nutrients they get, the easier it is to maintain their weight. The better your body functions, the better your organs work, the better you feel. It also is an effect in lowering the pH in the gut to block the growth of potential pathogens and harmful bacteria. That's really important too because there's Parts of the, all, the pH, which is a very, very important factor and varies in different parts of the gut for different reasons that there's activation of enzymes and there's a way of probiotics that live in certain pHs and dis deactivation of other enzymes. The, the, the pH is a big deal. Having the right pH in the right spot is important. Also, lower inflammation. Prebiotics can help lower inflammation, which is believed to be one of the root causes of many chronic diseases, including our nation's number one killer, heart disease. Yep, still killing more people today than ever before. Bottom line is that's the number one killer. Now, many people consuming probi more, more prebiotics, or excuse me, people who are consuming more prebiotics 
and fiber tend to have healthier cholesterol levels and lower risk markers for cardiovascular diseases. So that's why you wanna have prebiotics. It gets more. Prebiotics have cholesterol lowering properties, which can aid in the prevention of heart disease as well as autoimmune disorders like arthritis. They can also balance the body's electrolyte and mineral levels, including potassium and sodium. That's really the little potassium sodium pumps that you've learned about maybe in biology way back in school and which are responsible for controlling blood pressure. Wow, that's important. So AIDS and weight loss. 2002 British Journal of Nutrition found that prebiotic foods promote a feeling of fullness, oftentimes called satiety. And this helps prevent obesity and spur weight loss. Bottom line is you just don't eat as much when you're feeling full. Go have a big salad, not many calories, uh, but you're pretty full, right? The effects on hormone levels are related to appetite regulation, which studies showing that animals given prebiotics produce less ghrelin. This is the hormone that is responsible for stimulating hunger, okay? And in 2007, a study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that prebiotics enhance the absorption of minerals in the body, including magnesium, possibly iron and calcium. Magnesium, I think, is one of the most uh, underreported nutrient deficiencies in the world. It's involved in over 350 different processes. It's huge. Magnesium is huge. Muscle soreness, uh, fatigue, strength, uh, being able to relax, insomnia, all these things are traded. uh, They're related to magnesium deficiencies, okay? All of these are crucial for retaining strong bones and preventing fractures or osteoporosis. In fact, magnesium is a bigger control on than calcium in regards to bone density, and they need to be in a proper ratio. We won't get into the details about that, but believe me, this is a big, big factor. Regulates hormones and levels and move. Re- recent studies have demonstrated that prebiotics have significant neurobiological, neurobiological effects. Say that three times fast. In the human brain, including lowering cortisol levels and the body stress response. So cortisol is released when you're under stress. Caffeine can cause it, you know, uh, a report to the, the office with your boss can report it, a variety of different things. In these studies, prebiotics show positive changes in levels of cortisol, suggesting that it may be beneficial for the treatment of stress-related disorders. 16 best prebiotic foods. Chicory root. All right. Now, this is often used as a caffeine-free replacement for coffee. It's pretty darn good, too. If you don't want the jitters of coffee, I, I actually drink this. It's great. Chicory root. Uh, inulin fibers, okay, promotes the guts bacteria, helps break down fat, reduces constipation. I love it. There's a little restaurant I go to here. It's been open literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week since 1965. Imagine that. Crazy, right? Well, they have this really chicory root coffee that I drink when I'm there. It's awesome. Awesome. It's really good. Highly recommend if you're trying to get off coffee and like the, like the flavor. Anyways, uh, chicory root is high in antioxidant compounds that protect the liver from oxidative damage. Uh, approximately 47% of chicory root fiber comes from the prebiotic fiber inulin. And you'll hear a lot about inulin. Sometimes on probiotic formulas, they'll say, you know, as a benefit with inulin. Well, bottom line, chicory root, it's good. It works. It's a nice drink too. Helps to increase bile production, which improves the digestion. Bile is released by the gallbladder and that comes into your body and that breaks down fats. You hear about people that lose their gallbladders, which actually it's stored in your gallbladder, it's made in your liver and all that sort of stuff. I won't get into all the details of that, but the bottom line is, is bile production is good and important. Dandelion greens, it's another one. I actually sometimes have dandelion with chicory root as part of my coffee substitute. So dandelion greens increase the Friendly bacteria in your gut boost your immune system and reduces constipation and are an awesome fiber-rich substitute for greens in your salad. Okay, it's great. Known for their diuretic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-cancer, and cholesterol-lowering effects. A high portion of this fiber also comes from inulin. Contains four grams of fiber per 100 gram serving. The inulin fiber in dandelion greens reduces constipation and increases friendly bacteria in the gut and boosts immune system. By the way, there's also a cancellation. If for every gram of fiber, you can basically cancel out a gram of carbohydrates in consumption just because of the work it requires to break down the fiber. So that's pretty cool. So uh, having your dandelions greens is great. Jerusalem artichoke. Oh man, do I ever love artichoke. Artichokes can be eaten raw or cooked. It prevents metabolic disease, boosts your immune system. I put them in my salad every single time I have my big salad. You might've seen my videos where I have like the big, big salad every day. I do that every day, literally. Jerusalem artichokes have been shown to increase the friendly bacteria in the colon even better than chicory root. Wow. Provides two grams of dietary fire per 100 grams, 76%, which comes from inulin. Boy, this inulin stuff's pretty important, isn't it? 
The Jerusalem artichoke is also high in thiamine and potassium. Potassium. These can help your nervous system and promote proper muscle function. Very, very important. I put them in my salad every day. I love them. Asparagus. Wow. Asparagus is a spring vegetable rich in prebiotic fiber and antioxidants. It promotes healthy gut bacteria and may help certain types of cancers. I like this lightly steamed, frankly, myself. Uh, I don't, I'm not much for the garlic people put on it and stuff, but if it's done right, it's great. If it's not done right, it's not so good, um, but I love it. Combination of fiber and antioxidant asparagus also helps with anti-inflammatory benefits. The inulin content made around two or three grams per 100 gram serving, that's pretty great. And a 100 gram serving of asparagus also contains two grams of protein for those vegetarians out there. I happen to be a vegetarian. This isn't a vigilante vegan rant, by the way. <laughs> I'm just sharing with you. Isn't it cool that all these plants and vegetables are so important? Bananas. Wow. Did you know bananas is the most consumed fruit in the entire world? Yeah, like everybody eats bananas. Bananas are rich in prebiotic fiber, consuming the promotes healthy gut bacteria and reduce bloating. I love bananas. I put them in my smoothies. They contain a small amount of inulin. Unripe green bananas are also high in resistant starch, which has prebiotic effects. In fact, a lot of people in various tropical countries use it if people have diarrhea that take a green banana. Pro tip, use a green banana in a shake where you won't notice the unsweet, less delicious taste. So mm, that's interesting. All right, seaweed. I grew up in New Brunswick, Canada, and it's like the adults capital of the world, which is a form of seaweed. It's kind of purpley and dry. I love that stuff. It eats, there's something you eat, it, there's something really good about it. Seaweed is a great source of prebiotic fiber. It can block the growth of harmful bacteria. It can increase the population of friendly bacteria, and it can enhance immune function. It's rich in antioxidants that have been linked to the prevention of heart attacks and strokes. Approximately 40 to 85% of seaweeds fiber comes from water soluble fiber. That's cool they may enhance the growth of friendly gut bacteria, prevent the growth of disease causing bacteria, boost the immune function and reduce the risk of colon cancer. Seaweed, it's better than you think. Go out and try some, go get some delts. That's really amazing stuff. If you like salty things, especially. All right, rice bran. Rice bran is the outer layer of the whole rice grain and has been shown to increase healthy gut bacteria and reduce digestive problems. It's huge. In fact, it contains a special type of fiber called axos, now here's a tongue twister for you, made of aranobinoxalin oligosaccharides. Wow, that's a big name. I like calling it Axos instead. Axos fiber represents about 64 to 69% of the rice brain's fiber content. Axos fiber has been shown to boost healthy bifobacteria in the gut and reduce digestive problems such as flatulence, cramping, and abdominal pain. In fact, I think that uh, the best probiotic strains actually use rice bran as the prebiotic in the capsules, just so you know. Look for that. Jicama, jicama root, okay? I, I had a lot of this. I, was, I, I go back and forth to Panama. Uh, my business partner's down there. Jicama root is low in calories, rich in inulin. It can improve the guts bacteria, promote better blood sugar control, and provide antioxidant protection. High in fiber in the prebiotic fiber inulin. It helps improve digestive health, enhance insulin sensitivity, and lower blood sugar levels. Higher in vitamin C, which stimulates the immune system to fight illness and offers an excellent balance of the essential amino acids. Wow, jicama root. Kind of like a, it's almost, it's kind of like a clear, kind of between a potato and a parsnip. Uh, it's kind of cool, I like it. It's, it's kind of crunchy, it goes great with dip. Um, it's not, it doesn't have a whole lot of taste to it, but it's really good for you. You kind of feel it's good for you. And then yakun root, this is another, uh, yakin is, I actually have a yakin tree on my balcony. It's kind of cool. I'm growing one. It's awesome. Yakin root is rich in inulin and FOS. It's a great com uh, promoting digestive health. It's good for mineral absorption and enhances your immune system and regulates blood flats. It contains phenylalanine compounds that give it an antioxidant properties. It's similar to the consistency of sweet potatoes and rich in fiber. In fact, they have like yakin chips. Yakin chip. I got a confession to make. I have a, I love chips. I try to limit them. I have my spike day once a week where I can have whatever I want. It's outside of my normal range. And one of the things I had when I'm down in Central America is I had yakun root chips. Really good. I thought, hey, I'm, it's probably better than potato chips. <laughs> I don't know how much better, but the bottom line is that it's pretty cool. Yakun root is really neat. It's particularly rich in prebiotic. Uh, fructo oligosaccharides, that's the FOS for short, and inulin. The inulin has been shown to improve gut bacteria, reduce constipation, enhance the immune system, and improve mineral absorption and regulate blood fats. So there's a lot of cool foods here that you can go out and try if you haven't tried them. Uh, these things are powerful. Flaxseed. The fiber in flaxseed promotes regular bowel movements, lowers LDL cholesterol, reduces the amount of fat and that you, you digest and absorb. 
while flaxseed is amazing, I think everybody should add into their diet. Uh, the fiber contains flaxseeds of 20 to 40% soluble fiber from mucilage gums and 60 to 80% insoluble fiber from the cellulose and lignin. The uh, mucilage uh, component is really, really good. Uh, because of their content in phenylenic antioxidants, flaxseeds have an anti-cancer and antioxidant properties. Helps to regulate blood sugar levels. This stuff is great. Flaxseed, love it. Apples. There's another thing I do every day. By the way, you know, this is important. What's really exciting about this is I actually literally eat all of these foods in my diet regularly because there's different bacteria and I believe that different bacteria will respond to different strains uh, better. I just believe that. And I notice differences if I don't have some of these and I do feel them when I, when I don't have them for a while and then I bring them back in. Apples is something I literally eat every day. I love apples. It's my favorite snack. They're rich in pectin fiber, which helps lower cholesterol. It reduces the cancer rates. Pectin promotes healthy gut bacteria and decrease harmful bacteria. These, if you start, if, if people just went out and started eating all of these foods, and the bottom line is if you're doing all this stuff, you're going to have good bacteria. You're really going to help. And if you're, you, you know, you get a good probiotic added in there, you're going to have great microbiome. You're going to have a totally different life. Apples have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Pectin accounts for approximately 50% of an apple's total fiber content. Pectin increases butrate, a short chain fatty acid, and feeds the beneficial gut bacteria and decreases the population of harmful bacteria. It's high in polyphenol antioxidants. Combined polyphenols and pectin have been linked to improve digestion, health, and fat metabolism. Decrease levels of LDL cholesterol and reduce risk of various cancers. Amazing. Barley. Holy crap. The list keeps growing. Barley is a high beta-glucan fiber, which promotes healthy bacteria in the gut. It also seems to lower cholesterol and blood sugar levels. Rich in selenium, which helps with the thyroid function, provides antioxidant benefits, and boosts the immune system. It contains three to eight grams of beta-glucan per hundred grams. This is great. Okay. This is a Really interesting fiber. Beta-glucan is a prebiotic fiber that promotes the growth of friendly bacteria in the digestive tract. The beta-glucan in barley has also been shown to lower total LDL cholesterol and may also help lower blood sugar levels. You see some of those products out there like barley greens and barley-based products. This is one of the big benefits of adding barley in, whether you take it, read it regularly or you take it in as a supplement. Barley is powerful. Uh, it's a great, great thing. Oats. Feeling your oats, right? Whole oats are a grain rich in beta glucan fiber. They increase healthy gut bacteria, they improve blood sugar control and may reduce cancer risk. Their very healthy grain also helps some resistant starch. Beta glucan from oats has been linked to healthy gut bacteria, lower LDL, better blood sugar control, shown to slow digestion and help control appetite. That's one of the benefits you have oats for breakfast. Oats also offer antioxidant, anti-inflammatory protection due to their phenylenic acid content. I actually love oats. I, I ate a lot of them when I was competing and now they're kind of a treat for me now. I'll, I'll have them, um, you know, once a week, maybe I'll, I'll have my oats when I can sit down and really, really enjoy them. A nice hot bowl of oats is good. Cocoa. Cocoa is a tasty prebiotic food. It contains flavanols that increase healthy gut bacteria, low cholesterol, improve heart health. Um, the breakdown of cocoa beans in the colon produces nitric oxide. By the way, that's a bodybuilding product, the nitric oxide. It's also good for your brain which has benefits effects on the cardiovascular system. Flavanol containing cocoa has powerful prebiotic effects associated with the growth of healthy gut bacteria. It also has benefits of the heart. Burdock root. This is really popular in Japan, actually. There's a great place here in Vancouver that I like to go to, a restaurant shout out there is called Shinzen Ya, and they have this beautiful burdock root tea. It's got a really unique taste uh, and it's fantastic. I just love it. It has been shown to inhibit the formulation of harmful bacteria in the colon and boost the immune system. Burdock root contains four grams of fiber, 100 gram in per 100 gram serving, and the majority of this is from inulin and FOS. You might think, burdocks, really? Yeah, it actually tastes really good. Uh, inulin and FOS from burdock root have prebiotic properties that can promote bowel movements. By the way, that's not the sticky little things that get caught in your coat in the bushes. This is the actual root. Has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and blood sh uh, sugar-lowering properties. So burdock root, really good. And here's one, konjac root. Okay, so the konjac root, the glucamine fiber in konjac root helps promote friendly bacteria, reduces constipation, boosts the immune system, lowers cholesterol in the blood, and helps with weight loss. Konjac root is also known as elephant yam. It's a tuber often used as a dietary supplement for its health benefits. The tuber contains 40% glucomannan fiber, a highly viscous dietary fiber. Glucomannan, 
has also been shown to lower blood cholesterol and help with weight loss while improving carbohydrate metabolism. You can consume it in the form of foods uh, made with konjac root, such as shirataki noodles, or in the form of glucomannan supplements. The first time I had this was actually in Okinawa. I didn't know what it was. I started eating it. I had a whole plate full. It was amazing. I don't know what it was. I was like, wow, what is this stuff? And they actually had a slightly different name for it, but I did get the shirataki noodles. And then our team went and reached out and found out what was going on in this stuff. I had this amazing experience. By the way, Okinawa is the longest living uh, population in the world. It's amazing culture. And they have all these foods that they eat that are great. That are, I didn't know what any of them were. And a lot of them have these pre-fibrous components. Anyways, prebiotics are good for your gut. Now, here's the thing. Junk food, sorry to tell you, it's got the opposite effect. That's why I limited my life. That's why I pick one day a week. And that's when that's my day that I have junk food if I want. I don't cut it out. I mean, junk food tastes good. We all know that. We all know it's bad for us. And it's simple. It's easy. And we consume it. But you just want to minimize it. What I say is don't go, don't go crazy and be restrictive. I went that way for years. I, did, I didn't eat junk food. I didn't eat anything. I didn't have anything that was bad for me for like, I don't know, so many long. And even when I did that, I got myself in trouble because I didn't know some of these things that we're talking about. Okay. Uh, so finding that balance for you. Obviously, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to be a little bit tighter on it. If you're trying to maintain, you can open up a little bit more. But I suggest if you're going to use, eat junk food, eat it once a week, pick a day and make that the day. So, you know, if you're feeling the craving today, say, you know what, I can have that on Saturday. Oftentimes the cravings will go away. But fibrous foods really hurt your gut because here's what happened. Fibrous foods impact your microbiome. Your body and its microbiome is very responsive to what you put in it. Your bacteria will eat whatever you consume. Fast food, unhealthy food, turns toxic bacteria into yeast, and this can create issues with inflammation, metabolism, and immunity. Those yeast infections are huge, and that's why people who have them, they get triggered by junk food and, or binges or whatever, or alcohol or, or weed or sugar, or all these things that process. Like, you know, this is serious. If you got those conditions, um, you really want to pay attention to that stuff. Inflammation. Fast food diets are generally high in fat and slow and low in fiber, which can throw your gut microbiome out of balance. This may reduce the risk, the growth of good bacteria and produce beneficial short chain fatty acids like butrate, also known to play a reduce in inflammation. The bottom line is, is uh, we do this thing called a spike day, which we eat the junk food on whatever day. We'll actually have so much inflammation. We will actually gain, uh, you know, 10 pounds, 11 pounds of water in a given day. Uh, this is regularly when we do that, because I eat a very, very clean diet. And then when I go off it, 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 I just swell right up. My body goes into an inflammatory response. And then a couple of days it reduces. It's interesting to watch. And we've done these experiments to see which type of foods cause the most amount of problems. I, like I said, I'm a, a radical experimenter. And I'm not here to say all this stuff is bad or don't do this. I'm just saying, here's what the consequences are, okay? Um, we test everything that we do. We don't just give you theories or scientific lab results and stuff. We actually put this to the, to the test. Now, metabolism. Who doesn't want to lose weight? I mean, we, we, have a, we have an obesity crisis that keeps expanding in our youth and our age. It's terrible and it can be avoided. And I do believe that it's a relation to healthy bacteria. Healthy gut bacteria may increase our metabolism while unhealthy gut bacteria may help store fat. Studies show that high fat diets alter the gut microbiome, which has an effect on our metabolism. The gut microbiota is an important environmental factor that affects energy harvest from the diet and energy storage from the host. Our overindulgence of fast food consisting of mainly fat, salt, sugar has been shown in some cases to cause inflammation and poor immune function. The gut microbiota is an important environmental factor that affects energy harvest from the diet and energy storage in the host. Remember Morgan Spurlock's documentary, Supersize Me. He ate fast food for 30 days and gained weight, damaged his liver, and said he underwent addictive withdrawal symptoms. Supersize Me. Of course, fast food is highly processed, so it's unhealthy. However, Spurlock wasn't alone in consuming that diet. The microbes in his microbiome consumed it. Wow. That's a crazy movie, man. You got to check it out. It's just wild. Super Size Me created an interesting follow-up research, including one very fascinating subject. You follow the research afterwards. And this guy, Dr. Tim Spector, he's a professional, uh, he's a professor of genetic ep uh, epidemiology at King's College in London. And he was approached by his son, Tom, a then 23-year-old final year student of genetics at the University of Abbotsworth to track the microbes as they changed from an average Western diet to an intensive fast food diet over the course of a week. A week, how much damage could you do in a week, right? Well, so Tom volunteered to be the guinea pig. In this experiment, it would be the focus of his dissertation. He would eat all of the meals at a local fast food place for 10 days and then have his fecal samples collected before, during, and after the diet sent to three different labs for results consistency. 
Tom says, before I started my father's fast food diet, there were about 3,500 bacteria species in my gut dominated by good bacteria strains. 3,500 bacteria species, and each one of them performs specific functions inside your body. Once on the diet, he lost 1,300 species, and his gut was dominated by negative group of bacteria. Holy crap. This means the fast food diet essentially killed 1,300 of his gut species. Is there any wonder why people are getting fatter and are more depressed or unhappy? Because, you know, you make important uh, neurochemists, uh, neuro, uh, neurotransmitters for your brain with these things. It's huge. The bottom line, what you eat, especially high fiber prebiotic foods, plays a massive role in your gut health. This is one of the two main reasons to transform your gut. The other main way to upgrade gut health is to pick a probiotic that takes out the bad guys, so the good bacteria, and all the healthy food that you can eat can help repopulate your gut. If you follow those two steps, you'll multiply how good you feel and begin experiencing what I call awesome health. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a whole course on awesome health. It's something really powerful and something that everybody can learn to how to really compress and experience really health that most people don't even know even exists. Now, you might be wondering, what's the best type of probiotic to, uh, like to, to, to pair with a diet and high in fiber, prebiotics, and other gut friendly things? Because the reality is, is most people that come to one of these webinars or are looking for a probiotic or have interacted with their company because we focus on diet housing are probably wondering, how the heck do I find, you know, you probably have compromised. Digestion. One in three Americans does on any given day. One in three Americans are suffering some sort of digestive problem. Okay, so there are four critical factors to look for when choosing a probiotic. You walk into the shelf at the store and there's like 30 different probiotics in the shelf. How do you tell which one? There's 500 online. Like what, what are you looking for? Well, here's what you're looking for. Here's the first critical factor. Single strain that digests protein is transient and has been patented. Look, the bottom line is almost all of the probiotics that have been tested are tested independently, not in conjunction with each other. So some of the interactions we don't know. Uh, you don't want a mishmash of maybes in a bottle. Multi-strain probiotics mixed together can compete for resources, right? So if you have like, some people think, well, if there's one, why do I only have one? Maybe four is better, maybe eight is better. I've seen probiotic formulas with 32. I think there's another one out I saw that have 48 different types of probiotics. I mean, come on, man. 48 different types of probiotics? It's like having 48 pitchers for your baseball team. Like, do you need that many? Probably not, right? Anyways. Uh, compete for resources, reducing the effectiveness of each of the individual strains. Each one of those might be good on their own, but if they're all together, it's a maybe. It's like eating a candy bar and washing it down with a diet soda. It doesn't make any sense, okay? And unfortunately, in the more is better mentality, uh, better is better, not more is better. So the other thing is, is you want the strain to digest protein because undigested protein is the cause of numerous digestive problems. Undigested protein feeds bad bacteria in the body, this leads to bloating, smelly gas. It leads to that brain fog. You wake up with the brain fog, feel depressed, uh, skin conditions, uncontrollable sugar cravings, overeating, weight gain, not to mention if all this is unchecked, you have more serious medical conditions. And I experienced this. This is what happened to me after I did the Mr. Universe. I'm supposed to be the pinnacle of physical. I started eating a bunch of junk food after because I can't control my hunger. Uh, it just spirals out of control. I bloated. I got smelly. I'm waking up with a brain fog. I've got sleep apnea, my skin goes bad. Oh, it was a disaster, right? I couldn't stop eating sugar. I couldn't stop eating actually in the weight gain. It was terrible until I found that doctor and recorrected my microbiome. Uh, transient strain, why should it be transient? Well, because you want the probiotic to kick the bad bacteria butt and that means it's through your own body. Bacteria doesn't just live in your guts, it can go anywhere. And you want a bacteria that'll go find these guys and kill them. I remember Naveen Jain said that most probiotics are, are, are BS because they make claims they can't possibly live on to. He's the, the founder of uh, Viome, which is a home test that you can do to check out your own uh, bacteria cultures. I think it's, it's really good, right? Why should the strain be patented? Well, because you want to trust your health in something with proven benefits, right? Uh, patented strain, in order to achieve a patent, you have to prove uh, under rigorous scientific uh, examination that your probiotic works. So guess what? If the probiotic strain that you're taking doesn't have a patent, there's no proof. So no patent, no proof. Huge thing. Critical factor number two, avoid probiotics that require refrigeration. Here's the real. The bottom line is that uh, probiotics work best inside the human body, and that's about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The reality is room temperature is a lot colder. They're a lot less active, and that's okay. In a fridge, they're even lower. Uh, 
probiotics that require refrigeration have probably already been exposed to higher temperatures. They may have actually eaten up all their prebiotic food and been dead. Uh, they might also get contaminated easily. They might go bad easily. It's often very difficult. It's not that it's not the best. It's just, it's just, if you understand how these things are manufactured, it's got to go to shipping. It's got to sit on a store. There's all types of points where it might not maintain that proper temperature for it. And you're going to get variances in how the quality of that probiotic, right? Huge deal, right? So next, we'll get, we're going to get some questions here in a second. If I can just say, there we go. Want a probiotic that can survive the warehouse, the delivery truck, the store shelves? I just talked about it. It's, it's going to be alive when you take it. So I'm just uh, kind of moving through here a little too quickly. So uh, a freeze dried probiotic doesn't require refrigeration. That's huge. Okay. That's the big thing because then they can kind of go forward on this. Oh, I, somehow I got muted again. No, I guess I'm still going. Hmm. Interesting. I had a little uh, issue there. Let me just see if I can get to the view again and try that again. Bingo, there we go, good. Free, critical factor number three, choose a probiotic with fast doubling. Sorry about the little technical difficulty. I am all thumbs sometimes when it comes to digital work. Uh, fast doubling speed. So what happens is this means how fast they grow inside your body when you take them. The faster the doubling speed, the more probiotics you get. So whatever's on the label, it's not necessarily what's on the label, it's what's gonna be in your body 20 minutes from now, 60 minutes from now, but, you know, 24 hours from now, the faster the doubling effect, the more effective the probiotic. When you choose a probiotic with a fast doubling speed, you get more good guys supporting your health. So go into a store and ask the person, what's the doubling speed of this probiotic? I bet you 99 times out of 100, the people at the desk will not be able to answer that. In fact, a lot of the people who sell probiotics can't answer that. Think about Navy SEALs, training a new team in Navy SEALs over and over and over, and you end up with a huge army protecting. That is how you want your probiotics to work. Probiotics that are spawning more and more and growing rapidly in your system. Critical factor number four, you don't want a probiotic that has been fed an ordinary diet. You want a probiotic that's been eating superfoods. Makes sense, right? You see, you, you already learned uh, here, you know, just what, like your, mic, your gut microbes, they do better if they have the right foods. And that's the thing that probiotic depends on what it eats. So the kind of prebiotics that you're your probiotic is made with and it is used to supply it while it's sitting on the store shelf is critical. So let's recap these four critical probiotic factors. You know, critical number one, you need a single strain that digests protein, it's transient and has been patented. Critical number two, avoid probiotics that require refrigeration. Critical three, fast doubling speed. Doesn't mean that you, by the way, just on the refrigeration, it doesn't mean that you don't put them in the fridge after you get them, but you want to, if it requires refrigeration, be careful. Uh, critical factor number four, the probiotics have been fed a diet of superfoods because that makes them more powerful, more stronger. It's, it's like Olympic athletes. Bottom line, if you feed the probiotics good stuff, and that includes the ones in your caps and also the ones in your gut by eating those prebiotic foods we talked about. So hopefully, I did a good job educating you on probiotics so that you can make healthier decisions starting right now. Let me know in the chat if I've done a good job so far. Please let me know. All right, well, here we go. These people are up, you know, already. Thank you so much. I'm going to continue on. You know, I'll give you my history. Way back in the day, I started re uh, researching probiotics from 2000, 2005. I researched and tried virtually every over the counter probiotic on the market. See, even before, even before I, I, I blew my gut out, I was looking at probiotics. I was trying to get in and trying to find the right ones. None of them seemed to work very well, uh, most of them didn't work at all. And I think a lot of people have experienced that. And here was the one recurring problems. None of them had the critical factors, not one, not any of them. So what you want, remember the critical factor, a single strain that digests protein is transient has been patented. Critical factor two, you, uh, you want a, a probiotic that doesn't require refrigeration. Critical factor number three, fast doubling speed, right? Critical factor number four, food that actually probiotics have superfood. So here's what I ended up doing. I actually worked with the team discovered the patented strain that met my stringent requirements. I literally, the guy that helped me build this out, the doctor and stuff, I started working and studying with them. And we cultivated this powerful protein digestion probiotic called P3OM. Now P3OM uses a patented process and basically it takes this through a, the process is online. I'm gonna show you where that is in a minute. You can go do the due diligence research. Basically it results in a new super strain. It's by putting it in a special environment 
that allows it to adapt in a way that becomes uh, beyond the normal strains of that probiotic strain, that pick pure strain. It results in the most powerful proteolytic probiotic ever developed. Even though P3M was the most powerful probiotic strain in the world, I always knew it could be better. Hey, I'm a high performance athlete. That's my background. That's my pedigree. That's uh, the other founder of my company, Matt Glantz, same thing. Bottom line is we're always looking at improving. Uh, we're always looking at optimizing. We're always looking to be a better way. And because of that, we, we, we thought about this. We're like, if we fed the probiotic something else, we could probably get a better probiotic. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, if you feel athletes better diet, if you feel scientists a better diet, if you feel persons a better diet, they feel better, they function better, right? So imagine if you were feeding Navy SEALs, nothing but McDonald's diet. Would they still be Navy SEALs? Yes, but their mediocre diet, they wouldn't be able to perform at the levels they could. But if they suddenly switch to a nutrient rich superfood diet, their performance will go to number. Think about how much money the military spends on figuring out what's the right diet for, for soldiers so that they can go long and strong for a long period of time. And that's exactly what happened with the 2.0 version of P3 on the Navy SEALs of probiotics. Bottom line, it was already the most potent single strain probiotic ever discovered because it's up to three times. But, but what we've done, what we've been able to do, we tested a bunch of things. We found a superfood, literally a superfood for the probiotics. We did the research, we did the work, we found a different way uh, a unique way that we could actually get this probiotic to kind of go to the next level. Now, the, the original patent strain on P3OM, uh, that's US5895758A. 589 a Take a picture of that if you want to go research it after. Proteolytic activity breaks down protein. It has anti-tumoral capability, may reduce tumor size, antiviral capabilities, antiretroviral activity. It's the Rasha virus, the HIV virus, the T lymphotrophic virus, easily survives the human digestive system. That's critical. Gets rid of bad bacteria in the gut. I'm not saying this. This is what the US patent claim is on this strain. Amazing, and we've boosted it. We've made it better. P3M benefits. This is what the benefits is. That's what we want. Who cares about the features? What's the benefits? Gets rid of undigested proteins. Tax viruses and retroviruses. Knocks out bad bacteria like candida. Boosts your immune response. Cuts water retention. Helps metabolize fat. Gets your bowels back on track. Supports digestive health. Has a two and a half billion count in every cap. It's, that's amazing. It literally cleans out your body, your brain, and the gunk from the system. Boy, it's powerful. P3M 2.0 is a single strain of probiotic that's transient and digest protein. Does not require refrigeration. Doubles in the body every 20 minutes. Contains only three ingredients. l plantarum OM strain. That's the advanced super strain Navy SEAL probiotic. Stabilized right brain. That is different, by the way, than just ordinary old l plantarum. Uh, stabilized rice brand. We talked about that. It's a powerful prebiotic for it. It has a vegetable capsule. In fact, we actually did a video. You can check it out on our website if you go to bioptimizer.com. We have a P3M video where we actually show it. We throw it into food and we break down a steak in real time. We combine it with mass enzymes to do that. But the bottom line is you watch it actually digest a steak right in the cup. Talk about powerful. And it's faster in your stomach, by the way. This is just at room temperature. So let's recap what you've learned. Much of your gut health is determined by the food you eat and get broken down into good or bad bacteria. When you eat foods rich in fiber, especially prebiotic foods, proven to feed friendly bacteria, your gut health improves fast. When you combine a high fiber, high prebiotic diet with the right probiotic, which focuses on eliminating pathogens, which is what P3M does, it's a game changer. You have the foundation in place for a major upgrade to your gut health and all that goes along with it. I hope you start including these leaner foods. They will help you have a leaner body, a stronger immune system, more energy, better sleep, younger, higher skill performance, and much, much more. At bottom line, it is the key. Uh, you know, Hippocrates, I think it was, that the, the father of modern medicine said, all disease begins in the gut. He knew this 2,500 years ago. Amazing, right? Look at some of these results. Judy, over the years, I've wasted hundreds of dollars on probiotics that gave me zero noticeable results. When I started taking P3M about six months ago, it resolves about 90% of my digestive issues within just a day or two. It's really that effective. I love these testimonies. I live for these things. Here's a guy by the name of Dog Van. That's an interesting name. Anyways, came in from Amazon. It's legit. The strain of probiotic is passed through uh, as opposed to colonizing bacteria. It's one of the few supplements that I'm 100% satisfied with. Enhances regularity, fights food poisoning, aids in digestion, and helps relieve bloating. Darn close to a miracle drug. Wow. 
Melody, she says it's a great product. I feel better when I take two capsules with every meal. In addition, sometimes I take three capsules with six capsules of P3M before bedtime. I like that it can be taken with meals as well as an empty stomach. I believe it is just actually no Melody. She had a lot of digestive issues and she's a, a big advocate of this. In fact, she, she said uh, it changed her life. I find it, but I, listen, I talk to these people. I love to hear about these things. Here's Glenn. I've been a long, uh, best cleanse and constipation remedy ever is what he says. I've been a long time bio. Nice cars. I take mass and P3M daily. That's our enzyme product, by the way. When they first released Consti Cleanse, Consti Cleanse is another product. I knew that, Without a doubt, it'd be just the top qualities or other products. I've been taking it for several months, depending on what life is going on for me. It takes an effective relief to digestion, makes me feel great all day long for my morning ritual. You will not be disappointed with this ridiculously slow price. You now take stock up. I, by the way, he has no affiliation with the companies in my actual opinions and products. I love that. I love the honesty. I love people who share that. Anyways, uh, remember, these are sex stories are from the original P3. Our new version is ab it's three times stronger. This thing kicks butt. So the question comes is this, what would it be worth to you to never have or never worry about a digestive issue again? Think about that. Normally you have to pay the retail price per bottle. It's $79.95. Hey, this is a premium priced, a premium probiotic. It's a patented probiotic. Virtually nothing out there is scientifically proven to work. But on this webinar, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it to 39. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second, right? 39 a bottle. I'm also gonna include the awesome health course. Look, you, can, you cannot supplement yourself out of a bad lifestyle, a bad diet. I'm, I'm the first guy to say that. That's why I created the 12 week awesome health course where I teach you to achieve awesome health and double your energy with a naturally tested scientific strength. I actually have a formula that breaks all down and when you do this course, it takes you 15 minutes a day. This 15 minute a day routine has transformed literally thousands and thousands of my clients. I've coached over 15,000 over the years. I love it, I, I'm happy to do it. And I created this to condense it, to make it all simple and easy to use. You can just watch these five to 15 minute videos uh, at your leisure, in order or out of order, whatever you like to do. Click on it while you're at the kids' sports game or waiting in line at the checkout or you know, hanging out on the couch, not wondering, waiting for the game to come on. Bottom line is, this course is amazing. It teaches the seven pillars of awesome health, the three stages of biological optimization. What do you go from, from maybe like really down and out to like awesome health? The 15 minute ritual. This is the killer routine that I do every day and all my close clients do. The 12 habits of highly healthy people. This here particular uh, health habits were really powerful. Basically, I've had been fortunate to interview hundreds and hundreds of the top uh, health advocates in the world. And I broke down 12 habits that virtually all of them did. All of them did this. I'm also going to identify the five killer obstacles to health and how to knock them out of your life forever. There are five specific things that you just gotta get rid of. There's over $6,000 worth of coaching and it's 10X the value and the comfort of your own home. It's yours uh, when you pick up uh, a bottle of PTRM. So we're gonna include the course. Uh, I also did some interview with Katrine Valinsky, a naturopathic physician about addressing many of the digestive issues naturally. She does all my meta metabolic coaches, a genetic expert. We talk about digestion, heartburn, gas, bloating, indigestion, constipation, probiotics, types of probiotics. We get in the top 10 probiotic foods. We talked about some of them today probiotics and weight loss. What are enzymes, enzyme types? We even get into fart signs. We get into everything. No stones on journey. You go hire an ND or something like that to get this kind of information and you might not get someone at the level that she's at. It would cost you a fortune. You get it all for free. We're all about education. You get that video vault. The super probiotic coconut yogurt yes recipe, my secret yogurt formula that I formulate up. Uh, me and my fiance make this all the time. We eat it, we keep it, it's amazing. And it also allows you to get more dollar value for your bottles. This actually increases the effectiveness and will save you money. So you'll want this. We want you to save money. We want you to get advantage of this. We want you to have awesome health. So this is a way for you to create a yogurt, a probiotic coconut yogurt recipe. It's fantastic. Replenish your gut with uh, healthy probiotics. It boosts your immune system, protects yourself from getting sick. It's delicious, healthy treat that can curb your cravings. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. So we're going to throw that in there as well. Uh, the enema procedure. Uh, here's a great thing. Matt Gallant, um, my business partner and I were on Ben Greenfield and he got all excited by these crazy Batman enemas that we do. For those who are into enemas, you probably want to know about this. I got a whole inside tip on how to do that. It eliminates bad bacteria from your digestive system. It replenishes your intestine, colon with P3OM. It improves your immune support, protection against viruses and bad bacteria. It's amazing. I love it. You'll love it. It's fantastic. So on top of all that, you get that as well. Also, gets better. 
You can manage the overgrowth of yeast and candida, replenish the reproductive system with healthy P through M probiotics, fights off infectious bacteria and viruses. This is the candida yeast solution procedure. I can't tell you, uh, we can't make any claims, medical things or all this stuff, but I can tell you this, I've got a lot of fans of this product for this specific reason. You'll want to know the ins and outs of it. We created a little book for you that you can use. Uh, if you know people that have candida yeast procedure, pick up a bottle, give this to them as a gift, show them how effective it is. It's, it'll change your life, it'll transform their lives. We throw that in there as well. Then I have the 90 day gut cleanse, the seasonal light cleanse. So this was also dev helped design with uh, Katrine Volinsky. We go behind the curtain with our enzyme probiotic and other formulations in our 90 day cleanse. So you know exactly why and how to take our supplements to optimize your results. I actually break down the, in videos. We have a great customer service. We go through all the questions. You will not be sitting there wondering what to do with the products. We answer those questions for you. We go the extra mile. We teach you, we guide you, we hold your hand every step of the way. And we have some of our most powerful cleanse inside of that, uh, including my ultimate gut cleanse. So the bottom line is today, limited bottle, you can get 26% uh, off. You can get one bottle for 59 bucks. Just go to p2m.com slash, get that. What do probiotics eat? Put those dashes in there, by the way. You got to put those dashes in there. p2m.com slash what do probiotics eat? I think they're going to pop that up uh, probably in the chat box. Uh, here's the thing. You want to save more? You want to save more money? Buy three. Get one for everybody in the family. Stock up. Regular price is two thirty nine eighty five. You can get it all that for one hundred forty seven. You'll save thirty nine percent. That's amazing. Forty nine bottle, uh, forty nine bucks a bottle. Way cheaper. Third, that's a lot of money, right? Basically, you're almost getting a half price. Pretty close. P through M two point P through M dot com. What do probiotics eat? And then, for those who like free shipping, who doesn't want free shipping? Load up. This is the time. Yeah, this is a great deal. Two, 234 bucks? You're going to save 51%. This is over half price off, right? That would normally cost you 400 bucks, 399.75. We're going to give it 234 p2m.com. What do probiotics eat? This is a limited time offer. And guess what? We have a 365 day full money back guarantee. If you try P3M today and you don't like it for any reason at all, just let us know. We'll send, send back your unused bottles. That's what you got to do. Send back whatever you don't use. And we give you your money back in full. How cool is that? A year from now, we'll give you your money back full. Why? Because I want you to get the results. I don't want you to buy the bottles and let them sit on the shelf. I want you to take it. And if you take it, you'll get the results. And if for the weird reason something happened, you didn't like it, didn't work, didn't whatever, you get your money back. That way we take all the risk. We appreciate people's business. We do. I love it. It's why I do these webinars. I want to help people. Yes, there's money involved. Yes, we have to make money and all that sort of stuff to pay people and buy the product, make the product, ship the product, deliver the product, and then back up the product and help you achieve health. And we've done a great job doing it. And we're proud of that. But we just want to take the risk off because you know what? You can shop with a lot of places. You shop with us, you get the, it's virtually risk-free. Got nothing to lose. If it doesn't work, you get your money back. Wow, wow, how, how cool is that? So the universe doesn't give what you ask for with your thoughts. It gives you what you demand with your actions. That's from Steve Mirabolli. Life, the truth, and being free. P3M.com, what do probiotics eat? This is key, find out. So the bottom line is you're standing at a crossroad and you got three options in front of you, okay? Option one, you allow the bad bacteria to continue living in your body and they're there, don't think they're not, and not giving your health the probiotics it needs, okay? That's one option, you can do that. Go away, not do anything, deal with the consequences. Option two, you can go out and say, you know what, that was informative. I'm going to go down to the store. Probably every probiotic's the same. Maybe I can get more. Maybe I can get a cheaper discount. Maybe I can get a better deal. Maybe I can get a different story. I don't know, whatever the story is. Bottom line, chances are you're going to waste your money on a probiotic that doesn't work, which according to the Viome experts is virtually every probiotic you've ever seen. That's what Naveen James, I met with him. He's the founder of Viome. He said that most of the probiotics that said absolutely did not work on any level, couldn't show any activity, and were absolutely a totally waste of money. Wow, powerful. Option three, try P3OM 2.0 risk-free and eliminate your digestive issues forever. This is the easy option. It's the no risk option. And you get the 12 week awesome health course. You get the digestive health video vault. You get the super probiotic coconut yogurt recipe. You get the P3OM probiotic enema. You get the P3OM probiotic candida yeast procedure. You get the personal ultimate gut cleanse program. There's over a thousand bucks of value all tossed in just when you get your bottle. Wow, 59 bucks. You get all that. P2M.com, what do probiotics eat? Uh, 147 for three, 234 
46 and we throw in free shipping with the big order. Get the big order. But if you can't get the big order, get the middle order. Get this, just get started. Once you do, this is life changing. Choose your package, grab your special bonuses, get your limited offer, 365 day money back guarantee. Go with that gifts coming. You can always get your products, but you can't always get them at this incredibly low price. I don't even know if we're gonna even sell them at this low price ever again. This is really, really low. Uh, but you get the bonuses and they're only available during this offer. That's the big value. Now, I wanna share with you an important story before I close and we get to the question and answers. I had a friend and her name was Carla. And Carla was sick a lot. I really like Carla. She's just a really wonderful, caring, sensitive person. She's a good friend of mine. And, you know, Carla um, always suffered with health. And I, I, I didn't really understand all of it. She never really talked to me about it because one of the things I've made a policy with my friends is I don't preach. I don't go out there and start telling them what they should do. I make maybe minor suggestions. Um, finances were always an issue uh, with Carla. Um, and the bottom line, she just always was suffering and I always felt bad about it and I could never figure out what was going on. But recently I got an email from Carla. We don't live in the same town anymore. We just kind of talk through social media and stuff every now and then. This is really important. It really touched my heart and it's, it's something that made such a big difference. This is somebody I've known for a long period of time. Um, and she just said, hey, I just really needed to reach out and say thank you so much for making such an amazing, worthy and quality products. You wouldn't know this about me, but it's more of a silent challenge. See, this is my friend. She didn't even tell me about this, but I've had a compromised and sensitive immune system since my birth. My mom was put on antibiotics when she was giving birth to me. And from trauma she experienced, we think I may have not have gotten the prebiotics and uh, probiotics babies get at birth. I had a horrible and very painful yeast infections as a very little girl. Again, it goes back to people don't want to talk about these things, right? Constant bacterial infections. I was a carrier of strep throat through my childhood. And I got it off. I got strep throat a lot myself and then got it chronically in my early 20s, seven times a year. Holy crap. I've had it. Tonsils aside of golf balls for two years. Doctor said I needed to live with my chronic condition and wouldn't send me to a specialist for sinus infections, lung infections, horrible allergies. It's been a journey. I knew she was suffering. I didn't know she was suffering this much. She never talked to me about it. I just assumed that she didn't want to know that was a mistake that I made. I didn't know. I could have helped her a long time ago. Bottom line, she was finally able to start investing in her probiotics beginning last fall. And you know what? She didn't get sick this winter. This is monumental for me, she writes, and I barely have seasonal allergy systems. Big deal for me. Uh, Kangen was, that was another product that she was taking, originally helped with that, but they came back the last couple of years with a vengeance. But taking your probiotics every day has been a game changer, and I'm so incredibly grateful. They are like gold for me. So much respect and love. Thank you. I just had to share with you. When I got this, I literally teared up. Uh, I'm not really a super emotional guy, but what I felt was, is, you know, here is somebody that I, you know, was a close friend, someone I hung out with, spent time with, and knew that she struggled, but didn't want to push forward and didn't want to, and, and, and I knew finances were a big deal. We, like I said, we sell a premium product. I know it works, but I didn't know the severity of her condition. And the bottom line is she finally was in a position where she could start buying these things and it totally transformed her life. She's, she's in her mid thirties. She's suffered since she was a baby over 35 years. And there's people maybe on this call, this webinar that are listening to this that have been suffering for that long. And that's frustrating. You might've tried almost everything. You're probably gone to spend, like, I get it. I get these stories all the time. And that's why we take away all the risk uh, by offering our guarantee. In fact, I'm also uh, going to throw in the detox schedule. I, I got off track a few years ago. I had a lot of stress. I was traveling the world. Um, blew out my system. I got a parasite situation. I had a variety of things. It was really, uh, things got off track, even for me. The bottom line, I, I called up Katrina and said, look, I got to fix myself up. I got to get back on track. Uh, we need a detox thing. I, I'm toxic from all this stuff. And she said, great, let's put this together. So we worked together and we came up with a personal routine. In fact, I dropped 31.4 pounds in 10 weeks on this detox. It was huge. And I, and I actually outlined everything I did. I'm not saying that people can lose that or do that. Sort of, but I'm going to, I break down in detail exactly what I did to do that. It was powerful. It was transformational. I gave that out to people. Uh, we're going to throw that in with you as well. So every day we live and every meal we eat influence the great microbial organ inside of us for better or for worse. This is Juliana Ender's gut, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ. Great, great book. I highly recommend it. 
So the bottom line, you got all that. P3M.com, what do probiotics eat? Let's go to the questions and answers. Let's see if I can, um, let's see, we got, who do we got here on the call? There's Makita. I'm going to unmute Makita. Let's see. I'm trying to get this. Uh, I'm trying to get in. Uh, there we go. Makita, can you, can you, can you hear, can you speak and see if your mic's working? Hey, Wade, can you hear me okay? Yeah, we sure can. So just so everybody knows, Makita uh, works with our company. She's one of our health and happiness concierge. She goes and makes sure everything runs smoothly for everybody. She also directs specific questions to me each and every week that come from all around the world so that I can give you the proper information that you can make the best choices possible. So, uh, Makita, if you want, you can start reading off some of the questions that we have so we can kind of get into uh, what people want to know. Okay, fantastic. All right, so first I have a combination question. What are the superfoods the, probi uh, the probiotics are being fed and how did you find out what to feed them? Okay, that's a great question. Now, <laughs> One of the things that I will not be revealing in this webinar is the specific superfood that we're using with our uh, probiotic. That's a proprietary breakthrough that we've been working on for a long time. I will not reveal that. Uh, obviously, that's a trade secret. But what I will say is we experimented. Uh, we actually experimented with a lot of the foods that we talked on, and they all had some sort of benefit. But when we found one thing that really, really worked, so what this – to maybe answer the next part of that question, if you're listening to this, what I would encourage everybody on this, whether you take a probiotic or not, go through the foods on this webinar. You can actually request this webinar from the concierge. We'll put it up uh, somewhere where you can watch it and put those down if you've missed them. All the different prebiotic foods that will help your gut flora. You should add these into your diet regularly because it'll go a long way. It will help your probiotics work better. It'll help your microbiome work better and you get all the benefits that we outlined in it or some of the benefits out there at least. Okay, fantastic. And that answered our other question as to whether or not uh, we'd be able to get the list of prebiotic foods. Yeah, I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, All right. So um, a question, since your probiotic only has one strain, should I take the other probiotics to get other strains my body might need, like a multi-strain probiotic? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, here's what I'll say. Uh, for the best results are achieved if you do like a 90 day gut reset program, you can reach out to customer support about that. Where you go, you use a combination of the enzymes, the probiotics and the hydrochloric acid that we talk about that. And those three things will help reset your gut. And I recommend that you do it 90 days, follow one of the, the dietary recommendations or do the gut cleanse, particularly if you're suffering a lot. That's all you need on top uh, to get that going. I would secondary, I would start introducing fermented foods. And we talk about that in some of the, the, uh, those bonuses that you're gonna get about the, the, the different probiotic foods that you can eat. Because I do believe that there is a benefit from getting uh, probiotic or, or what I call fermented foods that have all the probiotics and prebiotics based on the dietary habits they have. So for example, if you have an Asian diet, you probably would like do better on like, Misu or kimchi or something like that. If you have more of a uh, European descent, you know, things like sauerkraut and yogurt might be better for you or kefir, things like that. So depending on your dietary practices, selecting the right, those foods. The final piece to get specific on your question. Uh, yes, you can benefit from taking uh, various strains of probiotics. I do believe that taking one at a time is better than multiple strains. There's a couple companies out there that are pretty good in the probiotic range that I think have uh, probiotics that work well together. Um, you can always reach out to customer service. I'll answer those questions specifically. You can say, hey, does this probiotic work or not? And we'll have to hear it. Go ahead. Okay. So if I am taking an antibiotic, can I take the P3OM with it? Or should I just wait until I finish taking the antibiotic? Yeah, you can take it. It will help alleviate some of the symptoms of that. But, uh, or some people prefer just take all the antibiotics, wipe it all out, and then uh, go to the P3M. It's in either or. Um, I suggest whatever you do, take all of the antibiotics until they're done. That is a critical component if you're on antibiotics. Do not stop the antibiotics when you're on that. And your doctor will explain why that is because you want to wipe out the bad guys and you don't want to create 
uh, antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria inside your body. So take the full dosage for the full amount of time. You can add the P3 I'm in, but when you're done is where the critical part is. You want to load up. Uh, you want to do at least 30 and preferably 60 or 90 days uh, because if you needed the antibiotics in the first place for some sort of bacteria issue, you probably got a compromised gut. I would do the whole gut reset, frankly. Um, spend the extra money. It'll, be, it'll pay you in dividends just in not getting sick again. Okay. So I tried fermenting p 3 five caps in a liter of coconut water for six hours, then refrigerated and drank it in the morning and evening for four days. Does this sound like a way to boost benefits? Yeah, I would actually ferment it outside a, uh, it, uh, on the shore, shore shelf a little longer. I've actually got my fiance who is finishing up a, a, a deep dive video that's going to be available to buy optimizers very soon and takes you actually through the process of how to ferment it properly. This is really, really powerful. It's really, really something that you want to do. And um, that video will explain it. We'll make that available to customer service as well. Uh, short, short worth, but uh, ferment it for at least, at least eight hours. Depends on the climate. Um, I find most people do better if you ferment it for 12 to 24. Put something over the top of the fermentation, like a, something so that dust and stuff doesn't get inside it. Um, but we outline that in the coconut uh, probiotic yogurt recipe. Okay. Has anyone cured or reduced eczema with your product? Great question. So um, one of the things that is really, really important to understand is that we cannot make any medical claims. We cannot advocate any cures. We can't say that it treats any conditions or symptoms or all that sort of thing. But I will say this, um, skin conditions are, skin is the largest organ inside your body. When it is compromised, things like eczema, things like uh, you know blemishes of all sorts and acne and stuff, those are directly correlated to there's some sort of toxic process in your body that's not happening. Whether it's an organ process, whether it's a microbiome process, whether it's chemical agents uh, or the results of a poor diet full of preservatives, chemicals, agents, and all that sort of stuff. The only way out of that situation is to start by cleaning up your gut. Um, I would recommend that you do the clean gut set. And what I have noticed is this, virtually everybody that has followed our clear skin protocol. And I actually have revealed this to a few people what I did because I used to have skin problems. Uh, when I was a kid, I was on tetracycline. I had all kinds of skin problems, never had great skin. I started taking care of my bacteria culture. Great skin, haven't looked back. People commented, even though I'm kind of getting to be an old guy, people were like, wait, what do you do for your skin? How come you look so light and bright? It's because I take care of my gut. Um, so what I would suggest is this, reach out to our customer service, um, direct your specific questions for me, I'll share with you exactly what we've done and then we'll back it up with our 365 day guarantee. Okay, uh, last one. Is this suitable for children? Yes, great question. So um, in fact, I have a lot of women who are nursing that will actually take a little bit, they'll break open the capital, capsule and put it on their nipples when they're breastfeeding um, and to help with their babies. And I just reduce the dosages for kids, but it's good bacteria. It's not going to harm them in any way. We wouldn't be able to sell it, that thing. Um, I, and one of the other cool things is I'm actually the godfather for four different kids from four different people. <laughs> and all of those kids have been on our probiotics uh, literally since they were toddlers. And all of them have extraordinary levels of health. They rarely get sick. Um, and I do believe it's because they've been taking that P3M since they were kids and they just have a better immune system than the kids that they're exposed to. Cause you know, kids get all the sick all the time. And I think it really makes a big difference. Okay. Is that it? All the questions we have. Awesome. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Let's uh, get to the, I think we got to, I'm trying to get to my, uh, there's a gift here. Let's get to the gift. Do we got the gift? Please. There we go. So again, here's a limited offer. 12-week awesome health course, the digestive video health, the probiotic real work, the P3OM. You get the deal, all the other things on there. You get the deal, 59 bucks for one bottle, 147 for three. And then you get one more deal, 234 with free shipping, $39 a bottle when you buy the six bottle package. Load up on it, p3om.com. What do we do? Grab your special bonuses. You got the limited offer. There's no risk. You get the 365-day guarantee. 
you don't like it for any reasons, we'll give you all your money back. Here's your gift. Uh, go to bioptimizers.com slash herbal. This is under your select your page vault, click access the digestive. So what you need to do is just go to the order page and you're going to see the links to this here. Okay. They click the access as digestive health video. It's right on the order page and you'll be good to go with all those interviews we talked about. So uh, pretty exciting. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, p through m.com slash what do probiotics eat? Go on the page, get your free gifts, order your bottles, reach out to customer service if you have any questions. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Wayne T. Lightheart, co-founder of Bioptimizers. Uh, take action today because it'll be pay you dividends in the future. Thanks so much for joining us and we hope to see you soon.